The Arc 3 Arc Thrower is the current community favorite support stratagem for loading out against the vile bugs. Naturally, when I asked which stratagem we should stress test next, the majority of you said Arc Thrower. If you were one of the voters, leave me three black heart emojis in the comments down below so I see you as you echo my black, jaded heart. Do you remember how in our last stress test we found out that the railgun could either require over 20 headshots to take down a ball titan or just two? Well, guess what you're about to see again? <laughs> Buckle up boys and girls because we're going to have a lot of fun today. In our usual style, we'll be putting the arc thrower up against an array of both terminated and automaton units to find out whether it's worth using in your precious support slot. Throughout the video, I'll be showing you the optimal way to use the arc thrower, which many do not know about. Most people write the arc thrower off against the bots, but using this technique completely changes the game and the outcome. So hang around as we dig deep. The arc three arc thrower projects an arc of lightning at close range. It charges up to project bolts and may discharge through multiple targets. What does this mean in plain English? Hold the shooty button, and when you release the shooty button, it will delete multiple things in front of you. The arc thrower does not require a backpack to use, and it has a replenishing cooldown time of 480 seconds. Its reload menu reveals... nothing. Other than the fact it has infinite ammo. This makes it a go-to for many people who don't want to bother with ammo management. Its aim down sights optics are very reminiscent of the railgun, though due to this gun's far shorter range, they're actually kind of usable. I need you to keep one thing in mind before we start testing it on bugs. You're about to see me use it incorrectly. My experience with other guns has habituated me to using aim down sights, but this is not the way to use the arc thrower. It won't affect the results of our tests, but later I'm going to show you how to use this gun in a way where it goes from meh tier to holy shit tier. Let's get it. To use the arc thrower, hold the trigger down until the gun gives you the sound cue that it's fully charged. At this point, you can release the charge and watch the deletion unfold. The gun has a range of up to 50 meters. It basically deletes all light units immediately. The warrior class units get absolutely massacred. Even if they're not one hit by a headshot, they'll generally bleed out soon after. It deletes hive guards in a single shot to the head. Simply wait a second as they bleed out. Brood commanders go down in two shots to the head, though watch out, they're still annoying pricks without a head for a few seconds. The first impediment I ran into is bile spewers. These guys took around three solid shots in the head in order to go down. With stalkers, it was so variable that I find it hard to say, if you're lucky enough and hit them in the face, they seem to go down in as little as one hit. And this is where we bring up the operative drawback of the arc thrower. See, it's not really a gun you aim. It more or less decides where it wants to throw the lightning, so in a sense it's the complete inverse of the railgun in that it's a very low skill cap weapon that you just spam in a given direction. One of the biggest issues is the times it simply refuses to fire. Sometimes the geometry of the ground causes issues with targeting, and even though enemies are clearly visible, it refuses to connect the charge. But what you really want to know is, how does it do against the heavies? Well, this is where things get very interesting. Charges have taken anywhere from 8 to 10 shots for me, depending on where the charge hits. My intuition told me to shoot for the leg, but unfortunately the thrower always automatically seems to aim for the head. I'm going to say that in the field, it's going to be hugely variable depending on how the unit is charging you, what angle you're able to attack from, and how much damage your teammates are doing to it. But now, the moment you've been waiting for. How does it do against Baal Titans? Oh boy. Get comfortable and grab some popcorn. Let's do this. Bear in mind, I'm still not using the arc thrower correctly in the footage you're about to see. I'll show you exactly how you should use it soon. When fighting a Bile Titan in a game you're hosting on PC, here's what you can expect.
56 whole ass damned shots if I didn't lose count in there. Now, this is where I was going to call it a day and say that this is the worst weapon in the game against BTs until I remembered the railgun. So I found myself a quick play match with a PS5 player hosting and here's what happened. Yes, that's right. You just saw the same damned bug as what we were getting with the railgun. We're of course going to keep testing to see whether this bug presents with any of the other support stratagems in the game. I'm completely baffled by the bug and I want to get to the bottom of it. Make sure you're subscribed not to miss it. Due to the channel's stratosphere of growth, currently less than 5% of you guys are subbed, so you're not getting notified when we release these videos. Now, because the arc thrower is way less predictable in where it lands, I wasn't able to reproduce this with another Bile Titan in the same mission. The key, it appears, just like with the railgun, is that they have to be headshots. So, what the hell is going on here? Something is seriously broken with Helldivers 2 and Bile Titans and crossplay matches. This is allowing people to completely cheese terminated games under the right circumstances, which completely breaks the intended game balance. But now for something positive. We're not done breaking this gun just yet. Not only are we going to the other side of the galaxy to deal with the traitorous socialist automatons, but I'm finally going to show you how to use this gun correctly. The arc thrower decimates automaton foot soldier units, just as you would expect. Striders require three shots, which is a little cumbersome. Against the Devastators, I initially wasn't having a great time. It takes three charges to take them out, during which time a Rocket Devastator can completely obliterate you. I did, however, like that they died upright, like the light in the vending machine just went out. But then, I discovered how to use this gun correctly. Yes, I'm going to show you why this gun is considered OP, because I can't imagine this was intended by the devs. You see, after you fully charge and fire for the first time, you can then shoot with only half charges. This doubles your effective fire rate and utterly massacres both Striders and Devastators. Here, look. Hulks consistently require 10 shots through their frontal armor. Even with 2x firing speed, this is less than ideal considering a railgun can still one-shot them and an anti-material rifle can two-shot them. Against turrets, well, you can see here. The gun literally won't even target them, so make sure to bring an airstrike, scorcher or some impact grenades for these. Remember guys, use your stratagems! Now, you should take this one step further and don't fire the darn gun via ADS as I was. You don't need to aim at all. Simply hold down the fire button for a full charge, then shoot at half charges after that. The third person charging reticle makes it way easier to consistently do this because you simply fire when it's around halfway closed in. I learned this after I did all the unit testing, and it was a complete game changer. I was originally going to say that the arc thrower was hugely overrated, but now, man, it's difficult to say it's not as OP as the railgun was before its nerf. So our test really begs two main questions. One, did the devs intend this gun to shoot at half charges like this, or is it currently outputting twice the DPS it should be? And why the hell is it two-shotting Bile Titans like the railgun? What is going on? There are so many bizarre, seemingly unintended effects going on with Helldivers 2's weapons currently, and I can't help but feel it's affecting the state of balance. The Arc Thrower is currently more OP against Terminids than the Railgun ever was before its nerf. Yet, it's normal for it to function like this? Shooting twice as fast as the animation would suggest? I don't know guys, this one has me really stumped. Let me know your thoughts down below, I'd love to hear from you, and more than anything I'd love for you guys to share these videos with the devs so we can find out what's actually going on here. My conclusion about the arc thrower is, enjoy it before it's inevitably nerfed. There is no way the developers will allow the gun to continue functioning like this because it makes almost all other support stratagems irrelevant against Terminates. I'll see you next time.